Hi, I'm Jessica Amir for the Finance News Network, joined by Ausbill Microcap Fund, Portfolio Manager Mason Willoughby-Thomas and Co-Portfolio Manager Arden Jennings. Gentlemen, welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having us. For new investors, just tell us about the fund and your performance. So the Ausbill Microcap Fund is a fund that focuses on companies outside the ASX 200. The core of our philosophy is that earnings drive share prices, so we focused on neither growth nor value. We're looking for companies that uh, have the opportunity to either increase earnings or revise their earnings positively over all states of the market. Fund performance for the six months to the end of February has been very strong, returning just under 25% net of fees, uh, exceeding the benchmark by 3.3%. March has also started well. Uh, the fund is ahead of its benchmark and continues to perform well. The fund currently holds 38 stocks with roughly 10% cash. Now to the first half 2018 performance, how did the fund perform? Over the course of February the fund was up 2.1% when the benchmark was slightly down. And this was attributed to the mining contractors and infrastructure space. The tech sector was also a good one for us. Uh, our investments in Nearmap and, uh, and Appen in particular uh, were notable strong performers. And how did your largest positions perform? That was actually one of the most pleasing aspects of reporting season. In fact, they performed very well. Um, in particular, the, the likes of Nearmap delivered a strong result and uh, highlighted very strong traction in the US. This was a key catalyst for the market and has sent the stock up 29% over February. Infrastructure service company ServiceStream rose 22% after its results. The company defied expectations of a drop off in NBN activations and also demonstrated transition to maintenance revenue. And what else can you tell us about your portfolio changes? A key change has been increased portfolio concentration with stock numbers reduced to 38 from more than 45 six months ago. This has helped us raise the liquidity in the fund. We've also taken the opportunity to exit some of our largest positions in the fund following strong run-ups in their shares. AWE, one of the largest positions in our fund, has performed exceptionally well following a takeover approach from Japanese group Mitsui. We've also exited our position in Pilbara Minerals following what can only be described as an extremely strong performance over the last 18 months. Uh, and its ascension into the ASX 200. And following a stellar ASX debut, we've exited our position in net wealth on valuation grounds. We've recently added to our top 10 positions. We participated in equity issue with Smart Group, uh, also a sell down in Ausdrill, and also topped up the position in ServiceStream following a very strong result. Last question, gentlemen, what's the outlook for the next six to 12 months? Uh, interest rates remain relatively low, Economic growth is uh, quite strong and synchronised and uh, continuing to strengthen. So while we remain broadly positive on the outlook for equities, we believe that we uh, maintain a strong position to take advantage of potential opportunities with our increased levels of cash. Well, Arden Jennings, Mason Willoughby-Thomas, thanks so much for the update. Thanks for Thank having you. us.